Hello again, Internet peoples. This is Will here with another cool Mac application for you. This one is Orb. Now, Orb has been around for a long time. It's been a Windows-only kind of thing. Um, but recently, I've discovered that they have a Mac application that works pretty well. I haven't had really any problems with it yet. Um, I believe it's the fourth rendition of the Mac application. Um, but Orb is a web interface media streamer. So what you do is you download the Orb application on your Mac or PC and then it will index. You tell it what files you want it to index. So it won't index anything you don't want it to index. And um, you can set it up to uh, stream your media from the web browser. So all you got to do is log in. This is what the Orb login looks like. Um, this is They have like standard little uh, tabbed interface that you can um, edit. Um, but what you can do is you can come in here and open an application so we can say um, audio and uh, you see you have your iTunes folders and you can come in here and play any 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 of your music anything that it's in your iTunes that it that uh, orb indexed you can come in here and play um, orb has a little player One, two, three. got like it's got a little flash player built in that does your audio video and you can also view your images um, you can even hide the little um, player so you don't have to look at it and to the right you have a playlist where you can add you can just drag stuff into your playlist um, that you want you can rearrange it I assume that once it finishes with the one song that it would continue to continue to um, play down the playlist. Uh, but the best thing about this, I mean, you, there's a lot of programs that'll do um, that'll do audio, audio streaming audio over the internet from your computer is not that big of a deal. There's a program called Pulp Tunes that does it very well and a very uh, really a really good um, interface web interface. Um, but with or you can do video, which is something that um, I have been looking for for a long time. I just pointed it toward my movie folder that has all my um, movie files in it. And then um, you can just, let's see, like, uh, let's watch Back to the Future. <clears throat> it takes your, your download speed and it automatically adjusts the download speed to your internet speed so that it it won't be too jumpy or take too long um, but it's a pretty decent uh, I don't know how the frame rate is gonna look on on the video because of the screen capture but um, it's it's a pretty decent um, frame rate it doesn't look jumpy it might look jumpy on the video because of the frame rate from playing this and uh, having it uh, screen recording at the same time but anyways that is the uh, that's the video which is very handy um, it also does pictures uh, yeah I don't know if I want to show you all my pictures <laughs> um, but anyway it does do pictures there's news just about the it also access your eyesight camera so you can like um, view uh, what's going on in your at your house from your from the internet which is kinda cool they have internet TV channels that you can go on here and mess with uh, it's, it's live TV channels from all over the world uh, sadly they don't have they have some cool ones like there's HBO and uh, I don't know sci-fi channel but um, the, the sad thing is they don't have like you know Hulu and they don't have any of those like uh, NBC, CBS, ABC. They don't have any of those big big ones, but it's still kind of cool. You can get some different uh, internet TV channels, uh, but it also interacts with your PVR if you have a little PVR recorder. Um, I don't have one connected. I don't know if the Mac application is compatible. With, uh, I think they're trying to get it compatible with the ITV PVR. 
Um, but anyways, uh, you can also sync documents. Uh, you can browse your files. Uh, it, it's basically, you can get to just about anything on your computer this way. But, um, yeah. So that is Orb. It's uh, recently been available on Mac. Uh, so you should go to, uh, this is the forms.orb.com that I have a link to it on the blog post. This is the link that takes you to the download, the C, uh, CT, CTP4. Um, yeah, communal technology preview version 4. So I, I don't know how that differs, differs from a beta, but um, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's out and it, it works pretty good. It, you see it's running right here. You have your control panel. And that's all it is. That little button right there is what keeps all your files indexed. But check it out, orb.com, and check out the blog post for the download link.